got all of our lattice ridges in now and so we're in a really good place to fill everything in. And what I mean by that is we've got all of the rafters cut apart from the valley sets which we'll do after we've filled everything in. So we'll work from the outsides, come up towards the valleys, drop in the valley rafters and then cut all the valley jacks. So we'll do that a bit later on. In the meantime, before we fill in, the most important thing for me is to get the dormers up to a certain point. So what I will be doing is we've got all the dormers here in sets and I'll show you over here. So we've got the rafters that go beneath the sill of the window, we've got the rafters that go above the ceiling level and they're already cut. We've got trimmers, we've got a wall there which is what the window sits on and we've got a pole plate. So this is one of the rafters at the bottom sits over the plate, sits against our wall with a pole plate at this position to connect the rafters to the wall. So we, the easiest thing about this is we've got one template rafter for the bottom, we've got one template rafter for the top. We don't do any measuring. Once we've set that out, we don't do any measuring. We use those templates to mark where everything goes because if you start measuring on roof slopes, on bowing timbers, you'll get one measurement one side. If you try to level something and then measure something, you're going to get three different readings. What you need to do is have one rafter, which is what you're going to set everything out with. And I'll just, I'll get my template small rafter and I'll bring it over here and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So this is the template foot rafter. And to set this out, I'll let the camera and light adjust. To set this out where my wall wants to be, I'll offer this in here, okay? And I'm gonna mark here. And I'm gonna mark the same on this side, obviously. I'm gonna drop that in there. So that's where the wall of the dormer is. And also, it's where the connection plate for these rafters would be against the dormer wall. So that'll be in here like that. And then these are simply going to hook over and connect it all together. I'll just balance that in there. So it's gonna do something like that. And then our wall stands directly behind and, this, and the window sits on there. So this is a nice straightforward way of doing it. There's no measuring. I'm not trying to measure how far back that is or step it off or anything like that. I know where it's going because that dictates it and that's the same for everything. So I've got three dormers, exactly the same size. I use the same template to set everything out and I can't go wrong. And the same will be true for the top. So at the top, let me move this out of the way for a minute until we nail it all in. Let's lay that there. So the top is very similar. We've got a trimmer, or a pair of timbers which form a trimmer. So let's put that up there like this. And I will get the template rafter for the top. Here's my template rafter for the top. This is the one I cut everything from. We'll pop that up there too. I'll pop a nail gun up so I can spike one home. I'm also going to need my rod, and that's important, we have the rod. Here's the rod. This is the one we made, and it's marked. We need the rod, put that there, in case I want to use that as well. Get my ear defenders. I've got my glasses, because obviously nail guns, guys. Here we are. Same principle as the bottom. Take in our top rafter. We sit that in here next to him. Obviously keep the top flat and flush. And we mark that right here. Same on the other side. Now that is where the inside of my first trimmer goes, let's slot this out of the way for a minute. There we go. 
So this is my trimmer, which travels between the two. This is, this is it's a double, but I put the first one in, fix it, and then put the next one in, fix it. Then we've got a pair of rafters either side, making this a three ply here and here. But the reason why I don't put those in first is because I can get a really lovely connection here, fix through the ends, then I can laminate them up afterwards. If you put your three ply in first, which is here, then obviously you can't end fix them. And then you've got to skew nail them, sometimes wrap a hang around them. And that's a bit of overkill to be fair. So that's the, that's the way we go about that. Now, what I'll also do is mark my rafter positions straight onto that and square them off. So here's a rod, if you like, that shows where the positions are. So I just offer that on here. Again, I'm not using a tape measure for anything. I'm just using a rod. So I mark that on there. And this keeps everything true, parallel, especially when we're cutting in insulation, which we will be. We don't want to have to keep tapering cuts and that will be there, and I'll just square those over. And now I've got everything marked that I need to get that fixed. We might as well get this fixed as well now. There we go. So what we do is fix the ends up, put the middle rafter in, fix that up, and that's the basis of our structure. So we're going to get all that done and repeat the process in two other places. It. Bottom, middle, yeah. and the same on the other side. Yep, that's it. Okay, let's have some rafters then. Yep. yep, any one of the top rafters will do. Not the template, we'll leave that for the, we need to mark the rest with that one. And you're gonna jump in the middle. Pass me all three, save, yeah. save doing it twice. That's one. That's two. Right, whack these in quickly. We go middle, middle first. You fix the bottom one. Just it, it should hold itself, but I just get that one there. As you are. Yeah. Yeah. And the bottom there. Yeah. In the middle. And you can see that is absolutely perfect. Now, any carpenter who fits or makes these, if they put that in first and try to measure it, mark it, and cut it, it's never going to go. It's just a bit lumpy, but you can see we're perfectly there because all we're doing is using the template, following it, and then marking out with that. And it's just absolutely spot on. No, so, and it's quick. It's super, super quick. And it's better than that. It's so accurate. It's geometrically correct. All right. OK. And go. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Lovely. Okay, get the second of the trimmers yeah. and we're going to laminate that one up now. Now we've end fixed these, you see, we can. Yeah. And just get, the, just get the cup the right way around in the end grain. 
Yeah, well, you, just, you, want a, you want a cup to there. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's it, and that'll be nice then. So carefully slide that one in. You've got your gun on you. Get the other end up. All right, I've got it. Now you want a skew screw, a uh, skew nail this way in the ends. Make sure the top's flush. Yeah, bottom's not hanging down at all. No. Wants to come off a touch already. That's it. That's, now that's perfect. Yeah. Yep. Same on that end, and then you want to. You can fix them not through where we got the nails, but there. Fix them through, yeah. Yeah. Away from, away from the nail. Yeah. Yeah, but don't aim. No, you're aiming towards the nails that go through here. Swipe through there. No, no. You, from where I'm standing, it looks like your nail is going to cross the path of this one that's coming through there. So you want to just be a bit back so you're not going to hit any metal work. Yeah, that's it. Right, I'll hop down and then we'll get the next bit done. Template out of the way to the upper side. That's got a bow up in the air, that one. Probably can't use that one because it's going up like that. Yeah. So it might be a bit tricky to use because it will pull the rafter. So we're going to get one of the others. Go in one end. This is one where you can, if you're not careful, you'll come out everywhere out the sides and the tops and bottoms. You want to be dead square on and looking at anything right, it's got to be there. It's mm. enough, it's enough. It's one in each for now. And then I'll get it all up with the other with the timber. Just gent, gently, gently push it together. That's it. Yeah. Mm. That's it. I'm going to mark that up. stage as well. Pull that straight edge out of the way. going to do is we're just going to get a few screws in that to hold it for now. We just want to level, plumb it up. Put one in there, put one on the other side. That's all we need for now. Then we'll put a rafter in. Okay, get your bottom fixed. Side, so you've got three in the middle. That's it. That's it. Get the top fixed, just one dead central there. That's enough. And then put one in the screw now. There. That's it. Next one. See how accurate it is? Yeah. It's would be impossible to do that from any other way than the measure. Than doing it with the template. That's it. 
two in one. So you so try to do that, yeah? I was just trying to bend it back to the line. So. Go on then, put one in. You have to twist these because they're so tall when they're cupped, yeah? Mm -hmm. So you go where it is there. Sit down a bit there. You're good. See if you get too close, it will split. And you go in there, but mine they're not. We'll pay for it if you hit it. That's it. Next one. Yeah, push nice and hard, fix it in. Perfect. Yeah, try not to split it. And that's it, now we just plumb the wall up and fix that into the floor. Plumb that up there. It's bang on, you see? Yeah. Because it's, it's going to geometry, it's working to geometry. Cannot beat it. Yeah, we have done no levelling, nothing. We just made, boom. And now we just pick up a couple of floor joists with the screws. And again, this isn't load bearing, this is just connecting. And that is the basis of our dormer. Now we get our double rafters in. Super easy. Yeah. And super accurate. We just got to connect this to there now, which is just at the nose of the gun in, mm -hmm. and then a slight angle towards the stud. Boom. And one on each. That's it. That's one done.